everyone, GLC here, back with another video. Now I know this isn't on a Wednesday, which it usually should be, but this is a special video because on the day that this video comes out, it's Easter. So, happy Easter everyone. I have a special video planned for today because I have an Easter themed Lego thing. So, I bought this, get this, I bought this last year. This has been sitting in my drawer for a year. Um, I bought it when it was in the sale because I knew I wanted to review it because it looks really, really cool. It looks like it's literally just a little mini um, Easter hut. Um, you know like those minifig houses that I used to review where it's like it came in one of these kind of um, cardboard houses and it had like a figure inside and an accessory? It's something like that but you can actually build stuff and it does come with a minifig. So I'm excited to review this. This has 57 pieces, it's age recommended for 6 plus, and the number on the bottom shows 853990. I'm excited for this, because with all the other Easter things, it's been like uh, the chick um, uh, pod, there's also been like Easter minifigs in this kind of style, but just a minifig. But this one looks like it's got extra little bits, like a little garden, some eggs, a chicken coop, and a little bike. And it comes with like a little tag on top so you can like write it to someone and give it to someone as a little Easter gift. Yeah, and it says on the tag from 2020. So yeah, I bought this a year ago. <laughs> so it's literally just been sitting in the drawer. But without further ado, let's move down to the desk, build this, and see what it has. Because it looks cool. <laughs> Okay, here we have everything from the build. Something I wanted to mention with the um, the little house thing. It's basically the same as the, um, the Halloween and the Christmas danglers. You just open it from the top and you can keep the box if necessary. I probably will because it's quite cute. But we are here to look at the actual set. So first I want to have a look at the little Easter Bunny figure that it comes with. This is beautiful. I know that they've done a male bunny in the past, but a female is something different. This is something new that I have never seen. This is really nice. I love the printed suit top. I love that. The tra the, the legs don't need to be printed because it's just all white. I love the, the inclusion of this type of bunny head instead of making a new head. So you can just have a printed face underneath. It may be the only one, but I do like it. That does fit quite well. Now, she holds a carrot, which is very fitting, and then she comes with a bunch of things. So, first she has this little piece of greenery here. It's, it's just something simple, but that's okay. It, it's still nice, it still fits the aesthetic. 
Then we have this, which is like a little moped with a bunch of eggs on the top, which I really like. So this basically just acts as a kickstand. You just put it forward and it kind of stands. That's really nice. And on the front, it's really cute because this is a printed tile of an egg, like a fried egg, and they're using it as a headlight, which I find is just so adorable. And of course, Miss Easter Bunny can ride on her bike and go and deliver a bunch of Easter eggs. The wheels do roll really nicely. I know I was having trouble with one of them because one of them kept sticking, which I think is this back one, but I fixed it in the end and it's really, really nice. Something they could have done is because Easter is about like coloured eggs, they could have done one of these in each colour, but that's okay. It still looks really, really nice. Then here, we actually have a chicken coop. We have our little chicken up here. We've got a little step run to go up to the actual house. I love that they've used this to make the roof. I love that. It just works so well. And she's got nice little flowers. She's got a nice piece of greenery here. There's a hole at the back where you could put something. And if we open the door, we see an egg. Well, it's a little stud thing, but it's an egg. So we just put that under there and it kind of just acts like she has just laid an egg. And that's really, really nice. <laughs> I like that. That's just really fun and quirky. So that's literally it for this small little set. I thought I would do this little review because, you know, it's Easter and it's the Easter bunny and eggs and chickens and stuff like that. So I've saved this for a year. I think it's worth it. I know that this year they had like a big build of um, a bunny hut, which is like in the shape of a, of a carrot, which you can add to this. You can make all of this and then add it to the hut itself. But I like this as a whole. I like just these small little builds. That's just what gets me going. I love it. It's, it's so sweet. But that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys have a happy Easter.